What's going on guys? This is Epoch Trades Master Ben coming at you with the first video which is going to be terrible but we're going to start the series so we get better. Um, kind of just want to start going over videos, looking for setups, um, going over setups, kind of just speaking things out loud. You know I've watched a couple uh, people making videos and you can tell as they're looking at the charts and as they're speaking out loud, they can identify things that uh, you might not identify if you're just kind of staring at it, talking to yourself in your head. So I kind of like the idea to say these things out loud and then have it out there. Hopefully you guys can learn. Um, if you guys notice anything, maybe you can teach me something. As you know, I'm still learning. Uh, I'm not a professional yet by any means, but we're working towards that. So this is another step in the right direction that I wanted to take. So today we're going to be talking about TRX, clear uptrend. Um, anybody looking at this chart knows that it's heading to the top right corner. It's continuing to stay bullish. But on our current structure here, you know, we have a low at this level that did took an out um, from this bearish candle here. So a clear break in structure right here and um, my bias is on the downside right now and my bias is on the downside because of a couple of reasons now our NPOC levels are naked points of control areas of liquidity now after these areas here you know this is the highest volume uh, was around these prices during these sessions now these got left open as price continue to go up now that we see price coming back down and with these lows being taken out uh, my bias is that it continues to go down and we want to look for long setups So we want to look for a setup coming down closing out these NPOC levels and continuing higher Now not to just add everything on the chart, but if anybody looks at Fibonacci levels It lines up quite well with our NPOC levels So you can throw that in there too, but we want to keep the chart clean So we kind of just have these levels on uh, based off of our indicator here SVP and that's kind of what we're looking for long these lows and continuing higher um, another thing with these NPOC levels at this area is right at a clear resistance level now price came up rejected up rejected finally price broke through continued on higher now this is why this is a pretty confluence level area of confluence trying to put my words together in this video um, that I'm looking to long at and somewhere around here looking to long back into the highs so I was looking at this chart earlier and assuming price that continues to go down um, hopping down a little bit lower of a time frame here to the 15 minute we have this pattern forming um, you can look at it a couple ways you know they can have a triangle here and ascending triangle and what we want to wait for is a break below this trend line and for it to go down further and that's what we're waiting for so i want to sit on a little there because once this breaks below if it breaks below i want to enter short stop loss above the highs there and we want to go into this area here which when we zoom back out is our support and our open end block levels so an area of interest down here to long and seeing the structure here um, big downside move here break of these lows and a pattern forming here as well so once this pattern breaks um, either to the upside or the downside you know i'm biased to the downside right now just on short time frames uh, higher time frame, I am bullish. I want to long in these areas. But while we are waiting for that uh, price to go down here, I want to capitalize on the potential move down. And that's why we want to wait until structure breaks here on this pattern, break below this trend, and down to the lows. Now, once price reaches this area here at the lows, um, closes out our MPOC levels, that's where we'll be looking to long. Um, kind of our structure that we want come down close out and continue on up and why do we want to continue on up because looking at this chart it looks like it wants to keep going up now for whatever reason 
we come back down here. I mean, there is these open and possible down here, but if we're looking in the current range of things, this is what uh, this is what we're seeing here. This is where price is closest to, and this is where price is most likely to be attracted to, almost like a magnet for these NPOC levels. Now they can get left behind, but just looking on the smaller time frames here with this pattern being formed, it looks like we can head on down. So keep you guys updated on how this plays out, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.